I am officially the worst tattoo you could ever get on your butt. Let's talk controversial science. Do strippers make more money giving lap dances when they're in their fertility window? Like about to ovulate. If nothing else, this study proves that science does not have to be boring, nor does it have to just be confined to a laboratory. They enrolled 18 lap dancers and had them record their fertility cycle hours work to all the lap dances that they gave. It tallied up to 5,300 lap dances. That is a lot of gyrating hips. If you didn't know, many other animal species kind of advertise their fertility. Humans, on the other hand, do not make an overt or very obvious display of this fact. Or you might take the other fork in the road and say that human females have adapted a strategy that advertises constant fertility. Let's talk cold hard cash though, because in this study you can see during estrus, that peak fertility time of the month, they earned about $335 per five hour shift. Kind of fall off for the luteal and actual menstruation phases. A little background, the luteal phase is actually where you get symptoms of like PMDD and PMS. And menstruation, obviously, you're going to be bleeding and cramping and probably not in the mood to dance for others. This study catches a lot of crap because, A, it was really small. I mean, it was only 18 dancers, and they only followed them for a total of two months, 60 days, which is only two actual cycles. That's really not a trend. They also didn't exclude any kind of seasonal or like one-off events, like was one of those measures taken during a week where the local sports team did really well? Basically looking for things that could throw off your pool of data. I have a soft spot for these kind of studies because they're not confined to a lab, which makes them harder, but they're also looking for a real world influence. You would think that with this study happening in 2007 and it being 2023, almost 2024, uh, we live in the future, that there would be a more definitive answer. Like we would have had a study that kind of looked at this and cleared it up. And boy, oh boy, have there been studies looking at whether or not females' faces are more attractive, whether like waist to hip ratios change, breast swelling, studies looking for pheromones or hormones in underboob sweat, studies looking at whether males can smell estrogen directly and whether or not it makes females more attractive to us. All we've really learned is that we have a lot more to learn. But what about you? Do you have any experiences with this? Like if you're female, do you feel more outgoing? Maybe you're more open to a role in the hay around a particular time of the month. And if you're a male, are you more attracted to your partner around a certain time of the month? This might be something you've never thought about. And now that you're aware of it, you can look for it. If you do, I'd love for you to share your experiences here in the comments.